Stefan steals and he'll ice it. Or at least I thought he would until he blew it. That's unbelievable. Patrick Stefan, you should be embarrassed. This is one of the most legendary goals the Edmonton Oilers have ever scored. The Patrick Stefan fumbled empty net with 10 seconds to go, and then the goal on the opposite end. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game this is. This was one of the craziest plays of all time, and Patrick Steffen cemented himself in Dallas Stars and Edmonton Oilers lore because of it. But what if I told you that the former first overall pick, one of the biggest quote-unquote draft busts of all time, had a son? And his name is James Stefan. And the biggest part about James is that today, the Edmonton Oilers ended up closing in on an ELC with the undrafted 20-year-old forward. There were upwards of six to eight teams that were interested in signing James, and the Oilers have made it official. They've signed him to an ELC. The right winger scored 51 assists and 48 goals in 64 games this season. And the article goes out there and talks about it. Oilers sign James Steffen to an ELC. Take a look at this. The 20-year-old has tallied career highs in goals, assists, and points through 64 games this year, potting three hat-tricks and recording 33 multi-game efforts. The right-shooting Laguna Beach, California native currently ranks 5th in goals in the WHL and ninth in points. Through 251 career games with Portland, Stefan has recorded 109 points and 145 assists for 254 points. He also was invited to rookie camp with the Sens this past September. Which is why, if you take a look at his Elite Prospects profile, he does have a Sens picture where he's wearing that, even though he's never officially played for Ottawa. But James Steffen is now an Edmonton Oiler at 20 years old and as one of the better players in the WHL this year. 48 goals, 99 points, a big step up from the point per game season he had last year, which admittedly was a step down from the over point per game season he had two years ago. But for James Steffen, 6 feet 185 right-handed forward, this will be a pretty interesting acquisition for the Oilers and potentially the Bakersfield Condors heading into next year and beyond. But of course, the biggest and most crazy piece of lore about this is that he does happen to be the son of that Patrick Steffen who messed up that empty net chance against Edmonton all those years ago. It's been 17 years, 2007, since this entire thing went down. Big shout out over to Alish Hemsky as well for getting things done and getting the goal on the board. But when it comes to some of the discussion here, I wanted to go over and talk about this because, you know, there's a lot of people that are memeing about this. Oh, James Steffen has signed a contract. He's the son of Patrick Steffen. He's an oiler now. Hopefully he can score some empty nets. Oh, this is poetic. Can you imagine TSN and Sportsnet shows the moment the kid misses his first empty netter? It'll suck, but I secretly want it to happen. Now, of course, you know, this is a completely different situation from Patrick, and this next comment goes out there and says it. Hopefully the apple falls really far from the tree. It already has, Mac Gold said. Mock Stefan all you want, but he was a first overall pick, consensus top five, but due to the Canucks Adin moves, he ended up going first. His son is 20 and undrafted. He'll get a similar shot to Archie Baines in Vancouver, but don't expect him to be lighting up the league next year. So, as is the case with a lot of these entire free agent signings, you know, the undrafted 20-year-old guys from the junior leagues, don't expect too much from James Steffen right away. He may grow into an NHL-caliber player. He may take some of the talent that his dad had, which eventually allowed him to be a National Hockey League guy, albeit in a pretty small capacity compared to his draft stock. And there should be enough here to warrant excitement for James Steffen. He'll be going over to Bakersfield, most likely. He'll be doing his thing. For Patrick, as we've talked about, I mean, the 1999 draft was really, really weak. Steffen had 188 points as a first overall pick. The fourth overall guy, Pavel Brendel, had even fewer points there. Brian Finley didn't do anything. Tim Connolly was okay. But other than the Sedins up top, plus, like, Zetterberg, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Zetterberg and Radim Verbata. This draft class was a really, 
really weak one. So the fact that the entire Patrick Steffen thing went first overall, I mean, it kind of doomed him from the start because the Canucks were making all these moves. They were wheeling and dealing to get the second and third overall picks. They wanted the Sedins really bad and they got it done. But Patrick Steffen unfortunately got that curse of being first overall and not showing anything in that respect to live up to that hype. So for James, this of course is not the biggest deal in the world, this is just a regular undrafted free agent signee, but for a guy who'll be heading over to Bakersfield soon, hopefully we can see a little bit more out of him and actually see some good results here, because for Patrick Steffen, there was a lot of bad for James, hopefully he can right the wrongs and maybe shove it to his dad a little bit. How can you do that to your dad? His whole career was ended in Edmonton, that's pretty funny to be honest. But either way, thoughts in the comment section below about the Edmonton Oilers signing James Steffen to a three-year ELC. Oh, before we go, yes, let's actually do this. So, Elite Prospects made themselves a post talking about how James Steffen was the 19th ranked skater on the EP Ringside CHL Free Agency Guide. And Oilers fans can read more about him if you do have EP Ringside. But if you go over to some of the stats here about James Steffen, it goes out there and talks about his attributes. So James Steffen, right wing, six feet, 185. They gave him a 4.5 out of nine in terms of his skating. So he's halfway down the middle. He's a decent to mid skater. Shooting, they gave him a five out of nine. So that's just above average. Passing, they gave him an average rating. Puck handling, a below average rating. Hockey sense, a 4.5 out of nine. And then his physical, a five out of nine. So Honestly, this doesn't really spell too much optimism when it comes to NHL projectability. I mean, being ranked to be mid across the board isn't really the best thing in the world. But then again, you know, this is a free agent from the WHL. It's not like you're taking any of these guys and expecting them to become top tier NHL superstars. If they become NHL players, then that in and of itself is already a win because you got a free NHL player from nothing, from doing amateur scouting and signing the guy out of the WHL. So the fact is, when it comes to James Steffen, while he does have some pretty good physical and shooting tools comparative to everything else, he's going to have to work on everything else around his game. He's got to get his foot speed up. He's got to get his passing up there. He's got to work on his stick handling ability and maybe try to fine tune his hockey sense as he gets older as well. So for James Steffen, there certainly is a path here to becoming a professional hockey league player that makes an impact, but it's going to be a little bit of an uphill battle. So certainly Certainly not the same path that his father ended up taking, you know, first overall picks. They almost always make the NHL right away. Did Patrick Steffen make the NHL right away? He was drafted in 1999 and his first season was 99-2000. Yeah, so he was a 25-point guy as an 18-year-old in the Atlanta Thrashers system. So James Steffen likely has a lot less pressure on him. We'll see how that fares as his career goes on. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Oilers signing James Steffen, Patrick Steffen's son to an ELC. I hope you enjoyed this Vinish Rash Rolls 99 and bye.